Hello everyone, uh, another uh, vintage clock radio, or somewhat vintage clock radio in this case. This is a, uh, it's a brand I haven't heard in a while, Lloyd's. This is a Lloyd's AM FM electronic clock radio. Picked this up for about $1.50 at the thrift store. Um, have never owned anything by Lloyd's and they're out of business and after seeing this thing I can see why. Let's take a closer look here. Uh, got the standard red uh, Red display, um, AM FM tuning dial, non no dial light with this one, single alarm. All right, let's take a look at the top here. It's got the wood grain case. I assume this is mid to late 80s, probably towards the end of the uh, <laughs> Lloyd's existence. Now um, here's your control function, uh, snooze, sleep, time, alarm, hour, and minute. Those buttons are very hard to hit. They're very, very, very difficult to work. Um, here is the uh, selector switch on, off, and auto. That's all it has. Now let's quickly take a look at the side here. Um, tuning knob on the left, volume knob, which is very scratchy. You could use some deoxid. AM FM switch there. On the other side here, we have uh, it's this simulated wood grain. Then on there is your wake to radio or buzzer. Um, here. Cup in the sink. There's nothing on the back. Take a look at the bottom here. Uh, it says the model is a J202B Series 761A. Lloyd's Electronics Inc. made in Hong Kong. Uh, there's a code number 431. It takes a 9 volt battery. Um, there's no battery in there. Um, it says, you know, standard caution label, don't disassemble it and you get shocked. Um, let's turn it around here. Now let's turn the radio on here just for a second. It's got a real tinny sound. See, but it's kind of scratchy. This, the tuner on this thing is absolutely terrible. It does not pick up anything. I don't know why I'm not having, having a little trouble focusing. But. That's the tuning here. I'm not going to play it too long. I don't want the copyright police getting on me. There, it's turned off. Um, I turn it to buzz. I think the last time when I had the buzzer on, let me switch it to... Switch it over here to the buzzer. Let's see if it does the same thing it did before. Turn it on. Just automatically goes to the buzzer as soon as the buzzer is turned on. I guess it's still in alarm mode. Um, yeah, this isn't one of the better. <laughs> I think this is. There is always there's the classics, and then there is a. Uh, there are just pieces of crap that were sold across the board. This seems to be in the piece of crap. Uh, uh, category uh, my Sony my modern day Sony that I have up beside my bed and although I hate modern stuff I like free stuff better and I wanted it work it's a brand new uh, 2011 model Sony and as much as I hate new stuff it's actually quasi decent it's one of their low-end models and it has this thing beat hands down for everything this thing is just a piece of garbage um, I don't know maybe I'll figure a, a good way to destroy this but uh, a lot of stuff is from a bygone era. This thing should have just been left in the past. Uh, this is uh, this is black plastic crap, even though it's got a nice uh, wood grain and chrome on it. Uh, this thing's just a piece of garbage. I don't know why. I don't know if it. I don't even think it was good even back when it was new. It just seems really, really cheap. It doesn't have any good weight to it. It's just it. It sounds horrible. The alarm function's bad. Uh, it's just a basic unit, but um, I can see why Lloyd's went out of business because this thing is just plain awful. It's not, it's not good. I don't know when it was made. I'm assuming late '80s, but this, this had to have been the bargain basement unit. And anybody who, uh, anybody who uh, bought this new, uh, you have my sympathy because this thing is just nothing it i i don't have any other words for it even <clears throat> even brand new units are better than this <clears throat> this is not a relic from a bygone era this is an abomination um so thanks for watching my videos and uh more in the future have a good day